I ate a peanut butter sandwich, then I sneezed and got these red spots. Oh, hmm. You might be allergic to peanut butter. Allergic? What does that mean? <laughs> oh. I'll explain it to you. Hmm. Let knowledge click. You know, everyone has an immune system to protect us from viruses or bacteria. But sometimes the immune system makes a mistake. It thinks something oh. harmless, like food, dust, oh. or pollen, is an enemy oh. and attacks it. Oh no! Right away, the immune system sounds the alarm and releases a chemical called histamine. Histamine causes some reactions. Sneezing, itchy red rashes, stomach pain, or breathing problems. That is an allergy. So, allergy is like a false alarm, right, Dr. Hmm. Wu? Exactly. Even when the food is not really dangerous. Part of it is from genes. If parents have allergies, their children may have them too. Also, the environment matters. Scientists say kids who grow up in very clean places don't give their immune system enough practice. So they may get more allergies than kids meet the world around them. So, if you eat or touch something and your body feels strange, Tell an adult right away. Mommy! And if you already know you're allergic to something, stay away from it. With help from parents and doctors, children with allergies can still live happy and healthy. I got it! An allergy is when the body makes a little mistake. Hmm. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> You just stole that. Don't <gasps> deny it. Mm. I didn't do it. Do you have any proof? Hmm. Huh? Oh. Ah. <sighs> wow! What is that thing that can show who's the thief is? <laughs> That's a fingerprint, dear. Do you want to know what it is? Yes. Mm. Let knowledge. Clear. Fingerprints are tiny ridges on your fingertips. They form patterns like arch, loop, or whirl. Fingerprints start forming when you're still in your mom's belly. Around the third month, they grow as your fingers grow. But their shape never changes your whole life. Oh. So, do we have the same fingerprints as our parents or siblings? No. No one in the world had the exact same fingerprints. Even twins don't have the same fingerprints. Fingerprints help you hold things because the little lines stop them from sleeping. And since everyone has unique prints, they also help with identification and security. <laughs> <laughs> Police can solve cases with fingerprints. If a thief touches something in the scene, they might leave a print. Then the police can check whose fingerprint it is and find out who did it. Yes. I thought only dirty hands leave fingerprints. How can clean hands leave them too? Our hands make sweat and oil. It feels the tiny light. When you touch something, it leaves your fingerprint behind. We got it! Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Looks like you have some cavities. Oh. What's a cavity? Hmm. I think many friends have the same question as you. I'll tell you what it is. Let knowledge click. There are lots of germs in our mouth. But don't worry, not all of them are bad. Mm -hmm. ah. 
Some germs really love sweet things like candy, cake, and sugary milk. When they eat sugar, they make acid. That acid wears down the enamel, the tooth shield. If we don't clean it, the tiny hole gets bigger and turn into a cavity. At first, cavities don't hurt, so you don't even know they're there. But over time, the hole gets deeper and reaches the nerve. That's when your tooth starts to hurt and feels super sensitive. It can even swell up and get infected. And then, you will need to see the dentist. Is there any way to avoid it? Yes! Remember these things! Brush and rinse your mouth every day. Use floss after meals to clean food stuck between your teeth. Try not to eat or drink too many sugary things. To transform? No, oh. he's not. Wufu, you might have a fever. Huh? What's a fever? I will explain why your body feels hot, cold, and tired. Let knowledge click. A fever means your body gets hotter than normal. Can't you believe it? A fever is actually how your body protects you yes. when strength bacteria. Huh? Fungi or viruses try to get in. When bad bacteria get in, your immune cells turn on defense mode and send signals to your brain. Inside your brain is a control center called the hypothalamus. When it gets the signal, the hypothalamus tells your body to heat up. The high temperature makes germs weaker or kills them, like cooking bacteria. You can feel cold at the same time, because your body needs to balance it out. While you have a fever, your immune cells work hard to find the germs. When the germs are gone, the hypothalamus tells your body to cool down, and you start feeling better. A fever isn't a sickness. It's a sign of your body protecting itself. Can you tell me what you should do when Wufu has a fever? That's wrong. You should never get the medicines without asking an adult. That's right. Tell an adult right away so he can get the right care. We got it. Why does he have metal teeth, mm. Mommy? Do they make huh? his teeth stronger? Uh. Wow. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's wearing braces, kiddo. Huh? I'll explain to you. Let knowledge clay. You know, our teeth don't always grow in straight. Some teeth like to till, crowd together, or spend whole lot of order. That's when braces come in. They're like a magical tool that helps teach the naughty teeth to line up properly. The dentist put tiny brackets on each tooth, like giving them a little backpack. Then a metal wire called an arch wire connects all the teeth together. Our jaws are strong, but they can slowly move if we give it the right push. That way, the teeth don't hurt. They move bit by bit over time. 
When your teeth are stray, the dentist give you a gatekeeper called a retainer to stop the teeth from running back to their old spot. So why do we need braces, Dr. Who? Can't you get why? After braces, your smile looks nicer. You can chew all kind of food better. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Wrong! Uh. Both of them are correct! Wow! <laughs> Mommy, I want braces too! <laughs> oh! Not everyone needs them. Only oh. if your teeth are really crooked. Hmm. The dentist might suggest it. <laughs> That's it for today. Join Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Discover everything around us on Wufu Explore Channel.